by viewers like you. Please support our work at democracynow.org slash give. Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. In an historic move, Ireland, Norway, and Spain have announced they'll recognize Palestine as an independent state, becoming the first European nations to do so. Norway's Prime Minister, Yuna Skartura, spoke in Oslo. There can be no peace in the Middle East without Palestinians and Israelis having their own states, and that there is a two-state solution. There cannot be a two-state solution without a Palestinian state. And in other words, peace in the Middle East requires a Palestinian state. Ireland's new Prime Minister, Simon Harris, referenced Ireland's own history of emerging from colonial rule as he announced recognition of a Palestinian state. This is an historic and important day for Ireland and for Palestine. Taking our place on the world stage and being recognized by others as having the right to be there was a matter of the highest importance for the founders of our state. Israel responded to the announcements by recalling its ambassadors from Ireland, Norway and Spain. There are reports Malta and Slovenia may be the next European nations to recognize Palestine. In Gaza, the official death toll from Israel's war has topped 35,600 as the humanitarian catastrophe intensifies. The United Nations has suspended all food distribution in the southern Gaza city of Rafah due to escalating Israeli attacks and a lack of supplies. Meanwhile, the Pentagon has admitted none of the humanitarian aid brought in from a new U.S.-made pier in Gaza has actually been distributed to Palestinians. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has told senators that the Biden administration is ready to work on efforts to potentially sanction officials at the International Criminal Court after the court's chief prosecutor requested arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Blinken called the ICC decision, quote, profoundly wrongheaded. Meanwhile, pro-Palestinian protesters repeatedly disrupted Blinken Tuesday as he testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Many of the protesters had their hands painted red to symbolize blood. Another protester who disrupted Blinken condemned Israel's killing of six-year-old Palestinian girl, Hind Rajab. People's Republic of China. That's okay, Blink. Just break out that old electric guitar and start wailing away. Disgusting. Later.